Hi, my name is Neka. Um, if this is your first time of tuning into my channel, um, welcome. Um, for those of you who watched me before, thanks for tuning in again. Um, so what am I trying to do today? I am trying to um, do a couple of exercises within Hive to convince myself that I actually have a clue. Uh, not inspiring a lot of confidence, but I'm just keeping it real. So uh, we are already in a virtual environment. I am going to launch a command line and I will navigate to our folder, grab my data and uh, hopefully start my HQL, Hive SQL. Okay, so without much ado, here goes nothing. Okay, and then we will navigate all the way. I'm not very familiar with Unix. No, let's not say that. I am familiar with Unix commands. I just don't like it. So, um, there will be errors. Bear with me. Uh, so far, so good. <laughs> you spoke too soon. Zero point. Great, no such file exists. Um, I am looking for a H, H, H. Give me a H, H. Okay, do we have it? Hive 1.1. 1 .1. Hmm. That is weird. So this is what we are going to navigate to. Oh gosh. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is because I need visual confirmation. I'm gonna do this. Um, let's put this aside and then let's go down to our command line this shouldn't be happening gosh i'm live okay change directory hive dash 1.1.0 1 plus cdh 5.8.1 Six one zero. Oh, enter. <gasps> yeah. See, small victories. We're jumping up already. Okay. And then I go and do. This is to execute using root. So um, when I execute my next command, the um, prompt will change. So I do s. sudo su. Um, most of the time, I really have no idea what I'm doing. But this is the way it's done, and it's Unix, and you don't ask too many questions, which is not within character for me. And so um, I will be getting. Okay, let's just do an ls. Um, huh. And I do not have. file is not here that's amazing okay well anyway let's just try this um get space u fire fox space http colon slash slash www dot Okay, looks like an M on M. I have to write it. MBR dot org slash patents slash a site seven five. Oh crap! Okay, let's see. Um, see, I should have known that something will mess with me. Okay, so I can see very well. Um, a site. 75 see that's why it's very painful because if we make a mistake 
we will have to type all these again. Now I have no idea if this is space, so bear with me. Come on. Oh, it's really another line. Hmm. Okay, in nine. Um, that way okay enter resolving so we are getting a file and we are waiting in real time um eta 52 seconds okay we will um pause okay um I was talking and then I stopped my video while I paused the video. So um, a couple of things happened while uh, some of you went to get a grab a drink and some of you just got bored and tuned off. Uh, but essentially uh, what I did or what I did wrong was um, first off I was in the wrong directory and uh, when I did my download and so I had to go well, because I want to follow everything the way I should, I started again. And then if you notice here, this is where we were at. But this time around, I am in this folder and not in the Hive folder. And so I went into the examples folder, which is on the Hive, uh, as you can see from the path at the top of the window. And I did download the file it's a zipped file that we're going to work with we haven't even started to work we're just trying to get the file that's why it's kind of sad so and then i unzipped the file um for your sake and mine i would um do a bunch of stuff online and come back and show the screens um so this basically shows where i have um i executed the get command went to this website grabbed the file and dumped the file a hundred percent it came back it took 64 seconds and um, this is it and I said um, is the file still here yes it's because with the ls command it's there and uh, oops sorry um, uh, well the file arrived I I did an unzip command unzip apparently it works the same way as in Windows environment and then it did an inflation and it inflated the file and here is the file so I'll do a bunch of stuff come back and then um, I think this is the best way to do this otherwise this is going to take forever so yes um, as I was saying if I call the last time um, I did uh, grab the file the zipped file and all I've just done is uh, I did a list it's here it's black meaning uh, access is restricted and so um, I changed my settings here on this next line and uh, it happened and I did a list and it's now green so we are now ready to go we'll be going offline and I'll come back and show you what I did